investigation. This afternoon, Chatham County Police Department detectives arrested 22-year-old Lilani Simon and charged her with malice murder, concealing the death of another person, false reporting, and making false statements in connection with the disappearance and death of her son, 20-month-old Quentin Simon. Lilani Simon is being held at the Chatham County Detention Center and is awaiting a bond hearing. We do not anticipate any other arrests in this case. She has been the sole suspect from the beginning. On Friday, our search teams at the Waste Management Landfill found what they believed were human remains. This afternoon, the FBI lab in Quantico, Virginia confirmed that they are, in fact, human remains. Additional testing, including a DNA analysis, is being conducted, and we have every reason to believe that this will confirm the remains are Quentin's. This is a heartbreaking development for everyone who loved Quentin, for the many people who came to know him after his disappearance, and for our department. When we first received the call that Quentin was missing, we were hopeful that we would find him alive and unharmed. But as we have been telling you for weeks, all of our evidence pointed to his mother being responsible for his death and disappearance and his remains being found in the landfill. I would like to thank the many people and agencies who worked hard to ensure that Quentin was found, that he would have a proper resting place and that justice would be served. First and foremost, I want to thank the FBI. We are incredibly grateful for their invaluable assistance, their expertise, their manpower, resources, and guidance are unmatched and were crucial in our efforts to find Quentin. They were on the scene within three hours of Quentin being reported missing and have assisted with every aspect of this investigation. The resources they poured into the landfill search are extraordinary and are the reason that we were able to find Quentin. I can't thank them enough. Chatham County Police Department's Criminal Investigation Division also deserves special recognition. Their devotion to Quentin, to making sure this crime did not go unsolved, is an example of police work at its finest. Our detectives worked tirelessly and were determined to follow every lead and uncover every piece of evidence in this case. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation, Chatham County Sheriff's Office, and Department of Natural Resources all had officers searching the landfill alongside our officers and the FBI. The support of the Chatham County Emergency Management Agency, Chatham Emergency Services, Chatham Occupational Safety and Health, Savannah Police and Savannah Fire also were invaluable in this massive effort. Finally, I would like to thank the many people who showed their support for our department during this incredibly difficult and important investigation. We appreciate those who kept faith in the system and waited patiently for evidence we needed to make sure Quentin has every opportunity to receive the justice he deserves. At this point, I'd like to turn it over to Will Clark, who has some comments from the FBI. Good evening. My name is Will Clark. I'm the senior supervisory resident agent of the Savannah and Brunswick offices of the FBI. One month ago, we began this landfill search alongside Chatham County Police Department with one purpose in mind, and that was to find Quentin and to bring him home. On Friday, search crews from the FBI and Chatham County found what we preliminary, preliminarily believe are partial remains from a human child. Those bones were immediately sent to our lab in Quantico, Virginia. Additional testing for potential confirmation is now underway. It could be days before we have final results. What happened to this 20-month-old child is unthinkable. No child should be harmed by anyone let alone the person in their lives that should be their protector. This investigation does not end here. There is more work to do. The FBI, along with our law enforcement partners, will continue to find justice for Quentin. Thank you. Thank you, we'll appreciate that. We'll try to answer some questions that you may have. Uh, just be mindful that there's many we may not be able to answer. Um, but we'll be willing to take some questions at this time. Can you tell us what you found bones in the landfill? Is that we found human remains, yes ma'am. Do you believe that Quentin was put in that dumpster? Do you believe that he was alive then or had died before he was in the dumpster and then made it to the landfill? 
Could you? I, I didn't hear the first part. I'm sorry. Do you believe that Quentin Simon was alive when he was in the landfill? Do you believe he, was, he died before he was put in that dumpster? Uh, I can't answer that question. You have charged Leilani with murder. Uh, can you speak on whether you think it was accidental or intentional? I can't speak to that. Can you talk a little bit about what evidence you all confirmed or learned on Friday led you all to go ahead and make that arrest specifically for today mm -hmm. or if it's earlier or longer? Well, as we had said from the beginning with the landfill, we had every belief that Quentin was there in the landfill. Um, having found um, what we found on Friday and the preliminary um, findings from the FBI um, that we got today um, led us to make an arrest today. We feel that we have a very strong case. We have put thousands of hours into this, um, and we believed um, that this was the right move today to be able to do that. Um, she doesn't deserve a Thanksgiving, quite frankly, if I can go off, off script a little bit. Quentin deserves that. You said that you didn't believe any other arrests would be made. Are you guys looking into Billy Joe at all? We are not. And so you just confirmed and um, kind of clarified that you all were looking to find some sort of remains from the body to go ahead and move forward with an arrest. That's correct. Chief, would the charges have been the same in this case had you not made that discovery on Friday? Say if this case had continued, if the search found nothing in the landfill, would you still have been able to make a case uh, for Quentin to have justice, or how significant was this find? Well, it was very significant, obviously, for obvious reasons. Um, we do believe we had a strong case otherwise, um, but that would have been in counsel with the uh, Chatham County District Attorney's Office, but we believe we had a strong case otherwise. You've certainly been very personal about this, and you said in that landfill that day with the picture behind mm -hmm. you, you said, we want to make sure we bring Quentin home and we give him a final place of rest. We wanted him to be able to make sure he wasn't in that dump. On Friday, how personal was that find for you? Well, it, it, it was very personal, quite frankly. I mean, there's a lot of aspects to that. I mean, knowing the hard work that went into this investigation, everybody, not just Chatham County Police Department, but everybody that chipped in, the FBI, GBI, DNR, Chatham County Sheriff's Office, the civilians, you name it, from A to Z, we were 100% committed to bringing justice for Quentin and to appreciate the amount of human effort, the amount of human emotion that goes into a case like this, and to appreciate, hopefully, that um, this comes to a conclusion uh, in terms of a, a conviction and things of that nature, um, you know, you have a lot of emotions about that. You also have a lot of emotions as just a general human being, um, as a person who has children. Um, you see the impact that that has on people. So if you step back and, and, and take a moment to, to kind of absorb that, I think that um, if, you, if you didn't have any feelings about that, you might have to ask yourself a few questions. I can't answer that. Has Leilani's status as a flight risk changed, or did it change prior to the arrest? Uh, no. Chief, did you say this girl that was found in the landfill, you would assume there isn't other human remains in that landfill, but until you get it fully caught, 100% I can't get into the high level of detail, but just on some of the preliminary uh, information that we got from the FBI, um, we're, we're, we have a high uh, level of confidence that those are Quentin's remains, um, and we felt that we needed to make uh, the arrest today um, because that was the right thing to do. No, ma'am. Go ahead, Chief. Uh, this case has been one that has made national news. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of pressure against you personally, with your name out of the mouth of protesters, out of the mouth of the people in the community. Mm -hmm. You've gotten a lot of pressure about making this arrest. Standing here today, and knowing that you have this key piece of evidence, as you just said, uh, what kind of uh, message do you send to the community? To the people, A, that had your back, that said, yes, we're going to wait on the police to do this, and then to the people who said this arrest should have happened almost 50 days ago. Well, you know... I didn't honestly feel a lot of pressure, quite frankly, um, only because I believed that our investigative process, um, the expertise that we were seeking that was around us, um, you know, having a little bit of experience, you know, in this profession, um, I understand 
I understood people's perspective. I understood that, you know, some people had their own strong feelings about when an arrest should be made and, and things that were going on. But we stayed focused on what we know and what we know how to do. Um, and in conjunction with the FBI, we, we stayed the course. And so um, to those folks that supported us, to the citizens that believed in us and believed in our department, um, I thank you. And, and, and for those that had questions, that's their right to do so. This is America. You can have all the, all the opinions you want. But, um, you know, I'm just so proud of our team and where we're at today. Sure, sure there is. You know, I, I wouldn't be uh, uh, honest if I didn't say that there was, you know, some weight lifted off of the organization and, and, and particularly those detectives and investigators who were completely and 100 percent committed um, to seeking justice for Quentin. So there is um, a little bit of relief, but be mindful, there's still a lot of work to do, um, and they're, they're dedicated to doing that, and, and we want to see this to successful prosecution. I got a two-parter. Is the landfill over? Uh, we haven't made that decision yet. Uh, that's a decision point that we'll come to um, once we're able to get some more analysis done, um, and we'll confer with the FBI and see what the best course of action is. And then Leilani is also charged with uh, making false statements. What false statements? I can't get into that. Is she cooperating with police right now? Is like, can they cooperate with police? She's at the Chatham County Detention Center right now. And I'm going to go back to the initial question that I asked about whether or not you guys found bones in the landfill. Mm -hmm. Because it seems like there's been bones leaked as you were arrested. Mm -hmm. Which one is it? Well, human remains, uh, some of that, are, some, some of them are uh, human bones um, and some other um, evidentiary matters. So. And as far as the bond, is there, um, do you all have any updates as to what? I do not have that confirmed. Um, I do believe it will take place tomorrow, but I don't have any um, time or, or any confirmation on that. We, we did, you know, take her to the detention center rather late in the day, um, so I'm sure that information will come out pretty soon. made a statement to me that um, she would turn herself in. Was there any talk of giving her that opportunity? No. Right. Uh, Chief, uh, you said in the beginning uh, that when we're at the landfill, you said that there was a very specific dumpster that this job was mm -hmm. put in. Can you just give us the like the location of that? How far this was from the house where Quentin was last seen? I can't give you that information. I have one more question. Can you just give last us question. An estimate on how long this analysis could take of what you guys found? It could take up to a week. Um, and the last, I have one last comment, and uh, I want to thank you guys. Um, because just like sometimes law enforcement gets the short end of the stick, you guys get the short end of the stick too. And you guys have been amazing, um, our local media throughout this. You've been fair, you've been direct, you've asked good questions, um, and you've, you know, given us some deference when we needed some deference. And so I just wanted to say thank you um, for your work um, that you do every day. Thank you. Thank you.